A very high famous politician has asked me to record this, so I'm hoping that the bastards who are cyber hacking me and interfering with my life in every way and my livelihood will stop and listen. Because if someone that high is talking to me, then it's kind of important for you to stop thinking that life is pie in the sky for you to piss on me. My life is my life. What I'm paid for is my intellectual property. What you are made for is something else entirely. I'm encouraging you to walk away. The question of the day is how should you approach a homeless person, or you, one you allege is one, to stay safe in every way? Not just psychologically safe, not just emotionally safe, because people do react to rudeness. They absolutely do react to rudeness today. It is rude to ask questions to certain people. It might be unrude to ask questions to other people, but either way there's always a better approach. The first question and qualifying question that you ask to someone that you think might perhaps be in struggle is, I'm wondering if you're in struggle and how I might help you. That's an open-ended sort of statement. Then the person has the right to say, well, I'm hunting breakfast, or I'm waiting for a store to open, or I'm really okay. At the same time, you can ask the question, if I was wanting to help you to get along with your goals today, what might I do for you in some way? How might I use my resources or my networks to help you? That's a good second question, because that allows you to qualify whether or not the person is really truly trying to get out of their situation and circumstances, or whether they're just vying for something from you. I rarely allow someone to buy me something, and the truth is because anything bought for you can be used in a way of financial abuse, and that is the truth of my life. My father used to play that game a little bit, but he had a little bit of a requirement to do that as the bank of dad, in which I paid a 3% interest, as opposed to what I might pay at a real bank, which would have been 10, 15, 20 some percent. I mean, look at credit cards, look at their interest rates today. Why would my father want me to get in debt in that way? He wouldn't. But I did have my loans, and I did pay them back, but I still had siblings immoral, and they're thinking that they had the right to know how much that was, let alone throw that in my face as if we didn't pay it back. And openly, my father didn't discuss that with them. They stole it from information at his deathbed. And openly, at some point, he stopped writing shit down. And he kept it all in his head because he had a marvelous mind like that, and I've inherited some of that, God bless him, for that. In life, we talk about what do we do to qualify you can ask those questions. What are your goals for the week? It may ask you what your goals are for this week and how something might happen for you that would make things easier for your life right now. Could I ask you how you got into these circumstances? You see, by doing that, you're not saying, how did you become homeless? Which is a rudeness today. It allows the person to give you the truth or to give you the lie, and you'll feel it in every way. Sometimes the truth can sound like a lie because of the magnitude of the story, the impressiveness of the details, and frankly, the honest forthrightness of the person. And that's when Satan starts to play at you. You see, Satan can play at you every day. Satan can say, you can take that life, you can do that thing, you can become that person, you can steal that thing. No one will ever know, but God knows. So you just monkeyed your life into something worse. And your behavior shows where you're headed. If you want to become a professional person today, you dress appropriately, you wear your hair a certain way. Now, I'm a person who's a priest, so I have to wear my hair a certain way, but some bastard thinks that I don't have the right to do that. They've been cutting my beard. Who the fuck gave them the right to do that? So I have the right to be ragingly mad on behalf of God and behalf of me. At no time did I authorize any woman to put their hands on me or any man to put their hands in my pants or in my pockets. But black people do that. White people do that. Mexicans do that. Immoral people like that do that. Human beings who are intelligent, educated, and going places don't do that. A child might do that. An adult with a child mind might do that. But openly, most people know what is and isn't right. A man who wants to wear a semi-mohawk and shave the sides of his head isn't really planning on going anywhere beyond somebody's bed. What a shame it is for them today, that they don't know how to play appropriately in the world today to move themselves into a higher paycheck so they're not living with their mommy anymore.